You know that. Last night, the jalapeno poppers. <laughs> here, the jalapeno Cheetos. Oh, yeah. That one's not me. Oh, man. Oh, my. <laughs> you know it's you when you're choking on your own stuff there. No, because skunks don't smell their own smell. Yeah, skunks don't, but you do. <laughs> That's, you know. Skunks don't. <laughs> It's really, really bad. That's really felt like Georgia Savannah. Oh, yeah, it does. What are, we're in Okeechobee. I don't know what the smell is. That's a swamp. Oh, my gosh. That's a definitely the swamp. That's horrible. Stagnant, stale. Water. My eyes are watering. <laughs> yeah. Look at how pretty that is. This is our bathroom. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. There's a beautiful painting here. This is nice. This is, this is Yeah. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh my gosh, look at the English saddles. That's so cool. This is a pull out sofa, so if you piss me off. What's that? <laughs> That's a doghouse. That is the doghouse. <laughs> no, it's you. It's my birthday. So don't get put in the doghouse. That bed is comfortable. You're just like in the shower. Honey, I think it's going to be a little hard in there. It's all right. I'll turn the water, turn the hot water on. This will freeze me out. <laughs> look, I love the little ledge. You can poop in peace. <laughs> don't look at me while I poop. <laughs> Oh, look, we have two TVs, you know, just in case we don't want to watch the same thing. Yeah. This is really nice. I like it. So this is a Fairfield by Marriott. Look at our bed. The only thing is that the view would have been a lot better. Next time. And they give me a view. It's a colored screen. <laughs> colored screen? Look, they they need to put horses view. on there in a sunset. <laughs> they, give you a, they give you the forest view. That's you hilarious. Oh, I do, but I prefer oh, the sky. Is, nice. is it nice? It looks like it's comfortable. I'm cold though. It, we got to do something about cold. this temperature. Did you bring my? Jacket? I'll warm you up. Yeah, I did. Right here. I'll be wearing my jacket the whole time I'm up here. <laughs> okay, our room tour is over. We are on our way to Lion Country Safari. I tried to buy some bananas to feed to the giraffes, but Daddy said, "No, no, no feeding the animals." If there were monkeys that were loose, I would definitely have to slide them a banana. Yeah, they're on <laughs> islands, so can No, we can't. So we will be there soon, and I'm so excited. Look, welcome to Lion Country Safari. Oh, they have campgrounds here, honey. We could bring the dogs and get a camper and come they're camping. Right now. Uh huh? They're closed. No, they're open. No, I said campground closed. Oh, the campground. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about this place. How do I get it open? I think it's not working for me. Okay, here you go. Sorry. No pets allowed. Hello. Yes, we yes, did. Mm -hmm. That'll be um, in the very beginning part of the walkthrough. That's accessible. It has a restroom. Our picnic area is open, as well as a little loop to see our spider monkeys, squirrel monkeys, and our Oh, awesome. Yes. We had a squirrel monkey born last Saturday. Oh, really? It's only a week old. He's very cute. So that's right in the beginning? That's gonna, you can do that first if you take the slip road and you'll see the big parking lot. Or just do it last. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. We can come in more than once. Are you going to turn the audio on? Yeah, I will. Another one where? There's one there. There's one over there. Oh, it's and there's one up there, over there, in between those. Oh three. my gosh, that's so cool. Those are huge. Oh my goodness. 
You could seriously go for a ride on that thing. Yeah. Wow. Big. Okay. Big. Jumbo, welcome to world famous Lion Country Safari, Let's America's go. first drive through wildlife preserve. Lion Country Safari is proud to be accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Proof positive, we are dedicated to the highest standards in animal care, education, ethics, and conservation. As you approach the entrance, please be aware of some very important safari rules. The animals here are not tame. They are wild animals, so the most important rule is enjoy your Lion Country Safari experience. That's right, we are in no hurry. If you wish to stop to observe oh, the yeah. animals, please pull to the right side to form two lanes of traffic. Okay, so we can pull to the right side if we want to stop and look. You are now entering Las Pampas, named for the grasslands of South America, where you will find a wonderful variety of animals. Watch out for the Aldabra tortoises. Those aren't just big boulders you see in the grass. <laughs> they are one of the largest species of land tortoises in the world today. They often reach weights over 700 pounds and can have shells five feet in length. Wow. They are also very long-lived animals, kid, reaching 150 years or more. Yeah. These gentle giants come from the island of Aldabra, which is off amazing. the coast of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. Rias are the fourth largest species of birds in the world today. Known as the ostriches of the New World, rias are incapable of flight. They inhabit the grasslands of South America and feed yet. on a wide oh, okay. variety of plant species. <laughs> An interesting feature about them is so that the pretty. males alone incubate the eggs and raise the offspring. Whoa, that is wild. Although they are plentiful in captivity, wild populations of rias have declined significantly due to hunting and loss of habitat. Back to their natural habitat. Wild pelicans are at considerable risk of becoming entangled in carelessly discarded fishing line. Please Look fish at the white one. And do your it's part a Monroe to one. Dispose of trash. Those the are the Brazilian rias. Tapir is an odd-looking mammal native to the forests of Maybe South America. At first That's glance, right. it cool. looks much like an enormous brown pig with a body shape that makes it oh, well suited for quick there. movements through thick underbrush. Their elongated upper lip and nose forms a movable proboscis, look similar to an elephant's trunk. As herbivores, you're fine. Don't look at that. The Cunhas and are primarily That's native That's to the that is mountain that? region. Oh my South gosh! America. They are used for their soft, durable it's huge. wool, which is highly prized by artisans. Although alpacas and llamas <laughs> are related, alpacas so are cool. smaller in both height and weight and have finer, softer wool than llamas. Marabou no storks are yeah. large, unique-looking so birds so native not to Africa. Not a llama and alpaca. Are they, they the same? Have head like a vulture, which oh, is look, there's ostriches. While eating. Marabou storks are often scavengers, so their diet consists largely of carrion and scraps See, from human settlements. Stupid. But these birds it's have also been known to eat live insects and other small animals. Yeah. Because of their hunched yeah. posture and appearance from behind, these birds have been nicknamed the Undertaker birds. You should now be nearing a set of gates that will take you through to the next preserve. Oh yeah, we're in front if of it. Okay. If you have not yet reached the sign for Ruaha National Park, please stop this recording now and restart it once you have reached that point. Oh wow, look at that. You have now entered Ruaha National Park. This unspoiled African wilderness is known for its variety of wildlife. The Greater Kudu is one so. of the most beautiful I species were, of land weren't they out in the there world. Ways? Native to the bushlands and woodlands of Central and Southern Africa, kudus are it's browsers that eat the leaves and shoots from a variety of now, plants. Look how big Males are known for their spectacular spiral oh my horns, goodness, which can grow as long them. as six feet. These horns do not prevent kudus from getting around in the, the dense brush of their environment. They I simply tilt their there. chins up, laying their horns flat against their backs, and can then move easily through the wooded habitat. Oh, they're so You've pretty. You've probably noticed the ostriches. Oh, I see them. The medium-sized antelope it's in this section are here, impala. These graceful animals are oh, so adaptable wow. that they are found from southern Africa to the northern see limits that? of East Africa. In the wild, impalas are found at grassland and woodland edges, usually close to water. Impala weigh from 100 to 150 pounds and range from 28 to 36 inches tall. Females are similar to males except they do not have horns. Their hindquarters are slightly higher than their shoulders and their hooves are long and splayed. 
Females, juveniles, and neutered males are chestnut in color, with white underparts face. Floodwaters rise and recede. They are excellent swimmers and are often found grazing in water up to shoulder height. Although lechway are relatively slow on land, no other antelope can run as fast through water or are as efficient in mud. If predators such as lions, leopards, hyenas, or wild dogs threaten them, they will escape to the water for safety. This section is also home to a herd of wildebeest. The members of this African antelope... By now you have most likely seen the ostrich. These easily recognizable creatures are the world's largest flightless birds. Flightless because their wing muscles are not strong enough to support their weight. The adult males weigh as much as 350 pounds wow. and can grow to a height of 8 feet. They can attain a running speed of up to 35 miles per hour, which is a good defense against most would-be predators. They are extremely strong and can be very aggressive, so keep your doors and windows closed and locked at all times. An ostrich can inflict severe injury with its beak or with a swift kick of its powerful leg. Adult male ostriches can be distinguished by their black feathers, here laying down while the too. feathers of females and immature birds are a dull gray. Oh, is he feeding them? Eggs are usually laid here at Lion Country Safari between February and June. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out for the nests. These large ground nests may contain 30 or more eggs at a time. You won't be able to miss the eggs if they're around. Each one is about the size of a cantaloupe Aww. and weigh about five pounds. Although they are the largest right eggs now. in the world, <laughs> they are also the smallest egg proportioned to body size produced by any bird. If you are looking for a souvenir, I ostrich eggs are there. seasonally available for sale at our main gift shop. You should now be nearing a set of gates which will take you into the next preserve. If you have not yet reached the sign marked Gur Forest, please stop this recording now and restart it once you have... Look at them. They're so, are those the antelope the, or the gazelle, the little yeah. bitty ones? The males are black. The females are gray. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> oh, I see. Okay, so that's a male and a female over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we're enter entering the Gur Forest. Oh, babe, look at those. <gasps> look at the horns on them. Whoa, that's so cool.